Dès le feu vert de la FDA, le titre du groupe Biogen s'est envolé en bourse en début de semaine. Son médicament contre la maladie d'Alzheimer est le premier et le seul traitement autorisé par les autorités de santé à l'heure actuelle. Il coûtera 56 000 dollars par an pour un Américain de poids moyen. Biogen CEO speak to CNBC about its new drug. After almost two decades without having any innovation, it's a new day. It's some hope, finally, for the patients and their families. It's a new chapter that is being opened that we're going to write together with the patients and their families and the caregivers. Now, the FDA approved the drug in this sort of creative new pathway as an accelerated approval, saying it's approved based on the fact that it clears amyloid plaques from the brain, and that should confer a clinical benefit, meaning slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease. And they're requiring you to do a post-marketing study, essentially a phase four trial. What can you tell us about your timing for that, uh, when you expect to have results really proving the clinical benefits of aducanumab? Well, accelerated approval is a well-established pathway by the U.S. FDA. So there is nothing new or revolutionary here. Uh, many, and it is used mostly for, uh, you know, largely with oncology products. And uh, this is a, a new way in order to open a new space with ev ev eventually uh, some lean indication about clinical outcome over time. We are delighted about this approval, and we are committed to continue to study the product. This was the plan in any case. So having to do another study is nothing extraordinary. We are committed to learn even more. It's a new beginning. If the confirmatory trial um, does not prove the clinical benefit of the drug that it's hoped to prove, would you support the FDA pulling the drug back off the market? So, if I'm not mistaken, we have more than nine years in order to deliver, up to nine years in order to deliver the final results of the study that we will design together with the US FDA, for which the protocol is not yet, not yet over and, and finalized. And as importantly, before the nine years, and we are committed to do deliver the data as soon as we can, obviously, we will be in a position to generate real-world evidence data that hopefully will substantiate the mechanism of action. Let me remind you that today, and this hypothesis that was so challenged by many, that today we have three independent compounds showing similar binding characteristics the way aducanumab show with similar results. So it's not solely aducanumab. Now we have three independent compounds that are able to target this toxic plaque of peptide that is like the plaques are bad in the arteries, in the heart, also around the brain. And here we are able to gradually decrease this plaque burden that is affecting the neurons and causing Alzheimer's disease. I think this is significant. I think this is writing history. Et tout de suite, Sibylla Oudjan nous parle de l'Irak pour son chiffre du jour.